City of Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati is at it again. And by it, I mean giving away another key to the city. This one goes to WWE Hall of Famer, fitness guru, and current judge on Canada's Got Talent, Trish Stratus. Why not Trish? I mean, she celebrates all things that we try to celebrate. I mean, she, she's connected to Niagara Falls. She, you know, at the beginning of her career was here when she was with WWE. Uh, now with Canada's Got Talent, she's one of the judges. And in between that, her in-laws live in Niagara and she enjoys Italian dinners right here. She's got all these connections and she said, when we have family functions, we come back to Niagara Falls to do them. And you can tell how excited a celebrity is when we give them the key when they don't exit or run for the door right after. She's hanging around. You could tell she was genuinely touched. It reminded me a lot of Howie Mandel. He was so genuinely touched and so is Trish. She's just a great representative in so many ways and it's great to catch people doing things right and lift them up and celebrate them. I think you've set a precedent when handing out keys. They're not a normal key. Tell me about this one. Well, these are all hand-painted keys. This one was done by a local artist, Sky Hicks, and she's a celebrated artist, and we try to make each one absolutely unique. Oftentimes, keys are the same key. Everybody gets the same key except for the plaque. And, you know, we like to do things a little different around here, so we decided let's make them personalized, customized, so we paint the skyline on hers. She's got the rainbow that you'll see over the falls, the mist, and this way when you hang it on the wall, I think it's more special knowing no one else has a key quite like this. This key is unique, just like you. Trish, how does it feel to receive the key to the city to Niagara Falls? Oh, it's surreal. Like, I mean, because, you know, there, it, it, my wrestling fans know, you say my, my, my entrance song, it literally says I've got the keys of the city. Uh, so to actually get the keys of the city is insane. Um, and then, you know, just looking back at the history I've had here in Niagara Falls and going back to the opening, which we talked about, the Niagara Falls store, uh, and then just my family being here, it's just really awesome. And then my new sort of chapter in my life and my career is Kaz Got Talent, which is filmed right here. So to come back and have this uh, key to the city now is um, great because I'm like seriously important here now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the artwork on the key? It's beautiful. Uh, it kind of captures just about everything you think about when you think of the falls. It's got the city line, it's got the rainbow, and it's, uh, it's very special, you know, and I know that it was, I actually didn't realize that it was a, a piece that was created just for me, so that's wonderful and something to put into my office next to my WWE titles. You do visit Niagara Falls a lot. What is your favorite treat to eat on Clifton Hill? Mm. So I, you know, everyone, some, my, my husband likes fudge. Uh, people like, there's, there's lots of popcorn things and, and the snacks and things. I like to grab a delicious steak. I'm so sorry, but that's what I love to do. I love to come here and have a great steak. In fact, tonight I'll be taking out my mom for her birthday that just happened and we'll be having a nice steak right here in Niagara Falls. Now you just recently released your Christmas movie, Christmas in Rockwell. Any chance there'll be a sequel, maybe Christmas in Chippewa? <laughs> that's I will talk to the producers about that. What a great idea. Um, at this current time, no, there isn't. But um, we'll see. You never know. I mean, honestly, when that came about, that was like a bucket list item for me because I was like, who doesn't love Christmas movies, right? Who doesn't love them? So, yeah, I was very excited to get that opportunity. And a little bit different than, like, way of seeing Trish, you know, since you've seen me kicking butt. You're used to seeing me doing that. But, yeah, it was nice to do a little sort of rom-com and, and have fun with that. What do you hope Trish takes away from this experience? I think that we love her as much as she loves us and that she really does feel at home and it's funny she's married to an Italian family and that feeling of once you come in and part of the family feeling the love she's going to feel the same thing here. I want people to feel that Niagara Falls isn't just a city, a famous brand, but we're a bunch of people with big hearts and we just love loving and we like welcoming people and you're part of the family we're going to treat you just like the rest of the family. After the season finale of Canada's Got Talent Trish returns to the city on June 10th and 11th to meet her fans at Niagara Falls Comic Con. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mark Wicobredo.